Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to deal the third part in the placental function. So before you watch this video, please go through with its previous two parts where I have discussed with some other important function of the placenta. And here in this lecture, I am going to deal the endocrinology of placenta where we'll discuss the steroid hormones that are being produced from the placenta. So as we know, the most important steroid hormones uh, which are very important to maintain the pregnancy are the estrogen and progesterone. So we know these all hormones usually produces through corpus luteum once the pregnancy conceives. But after 8 weeks of gestation, the placenta start forming these steroid hormones. So progressively they produce the hormone and once the pregnancy reaches till term, they synthesizes more amount of these hormones. So mainly these two hormones synthesize from the syncytiotrophoblastic lining of placenta. So here we'll discuss from where the progesterone and estrogen get synthesized. So to synthesize these uh, hormones, the placenta utilizes some precursors. That is the raw material that are being formed previously and they get changed into these steroid hormones. So uh, if we talk about the progesterone, to synthesize it, the placenta uses maternal LDL cholesterol. So this low density lipoprotein cholesterol is changed into pregnenolone by the enzyme that is cholesterol side chain cleavage enzyme. And here one important enzyme work upon it that is 3 beta HSD, hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase enzyme. So this enzyme work upon this pregnenolone and convert it into the progesterone. And there this hormone doesn't store, uh, rather it diffuses into the mother and fetal circulation. So this is how the progesterone synthesizes by utilizing maternal precursor that is LDL cholesterol. So yes, placenta synthesizes this progesterone from 8 week of gestation uh, because before that the corpus luteum synthesizes this hormone and thereby the placenta take over this function from this corpus luteum and synthesizes throughout pregnancy. So by reaching near term, it synthesizes around 250 milligram daily. So thereby the progesterone get synthesized by using maternal sources. In similar manner, the estrogen is also synthesized from the placenta. And in same manner, it is also being synthesized from corpus luteum in an earlier phase. But later on, it is mainly synthesized from the placenta. So again, the placenta utilizes some precursors which are partly derived from mother and partly from fetal in origin. So these precursors help the placenta to change some metabolites into the estrogen. So here, like fetal adrenal glands produces some metabolites like uh, uh, dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate. This is one important metabolite that actually converts into estrogen later on. So this metabolite uh, again converts into the other metabolite into the fetal liver that is 16 alpha hydroxy dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate that diffuses into the placenta. And in placenta, there are four important enzymes that work upon that metabolite and convert this metabolite into estrogen. So the enzymes that are present in the placenta are the uh, aromatase, sulfatase, 3-beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase, 17-beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase. So these are the four important enzymes. These all work upon 16-alpha hydroxy uh, dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate and this then convert into estrogen. So the placenta starts synthesizing estrogen in a very limited amount but throughout pregnancy it synthesizes more and more and once it reaches till term then there it will releases around 30 nanogram per ml estrogen. So the placenta utilizes certain precursors that derive from the mother or the fetus because it lacks one important enzyme 
that is 17 alpha hydroxylase that help in synthesizing estrogen so thereby it utilizes some metabolites derived from the fetal adrenal gland or their metabolites arrive, derived from the fetal liver and that metabolite diffuses into the placenta which is being worked by some enzymes and that converts into the estrogen. So let's see what all functions are there. So firstly the estrogen plays very important role in the hypertrophy and proliferation of the uterus because as the fetus grow more and more the accommodation capacity also increases and this is only be possible by the effect of estrogen because it helps in uh, hypertrophy that, that is increasing in the size of the uh, muscle fiber of the uterus and also it proliferate these muscle fiber thereby the uterus uh, become more bigger to accommodate these all product of conceptions and also it help in increasing the blood flow because once the size of the uterus get increases the vasculature will also be expand more and the flow will be more so as the fetus also demands more for all its exchange so thereby the hypertrophy and the proliferation of how all the lining of the uterus is mainly done by the estrogen and along with this estrogen progesterone also plays very important role because it also alters the decidua uh, the changes that takes place in the endometrial lining and it allows the fertilized ova to be implanted in this decidua so the decidual changes also takes place by the effect of progesterone and the next function of the estrogen is the hypertrophy and proliferation of the breast tissues especially for the proliferation of the duct estrogen is responsible and the changes that takes place in the lobules and the alveolus of the breast uh, both hormones played play equal uh, role that is estrogen and progesterone combinedly work upon the proliferation of the lobules and the alveolar system so breast changes also require some modification as they are being prepared for lactation so this all changes took place throughout pregnancy itself and combinedly estrogen and progesterone work upon it and the next function is the adaptation of the pregnancy because we know there are certain maternal adaptations are going on throughout pregnancy so for all these physiological changes the estrogen and progesterone combinedly work upon it and it is also responsible for making the uterus more quiet and relaxed because the progesterone plays a very important role in stabilizing the lysosomal membrane. It inhibits the inflammatory response thereby it makes the uterus more relaxed, more soft and uh, it uh, avoid any contraction so thereby the pregnancy maintains. So for that the progesterone plays a very important role. And at the time of labor, the level of estrogen is more compared to progesterone. So estrogen at the time of labor favors uh, the process by sensitizing receptors in the myometrium, especially for oxytocin and prostaglandin. So these estrogen sensitizes the myometrial lining uh, to receive more oxytocin and prostaglandin, thereby the uterus get contract and allow the uh, fetus and the product of conception to be delivered out. So at the time of labor also the estrogen plays a very important role uh, because it sensitizes the whole lining to receive these all uh, hormones oxytocin and prostaglandins that favors the labor process. So thereby we have discussed with the very important two steroid hormones that is the estrogen and progesterone and here we have seen how they get produced in the placenta and what all important role they played. Thank you.